special announcement at the end of the video. Even if you don't stay for the Q&A, please skip to the end so you can hear the special announcement. Thank you. Mwah. Hi guys. So, this video is going to be a bit different than the others on my channel. Uh, and that is because it is not a script. <laughs> and so, I might be a bit rambly and off topic sometimes, so you'll have to put up with me. But I wanted to say thank you for all the support you guys have given me. Uh, today we're going to be doing a Q&A because you guys definitely deserve it after getting me over 2,000 subs in just under a month. Uh, we went from 10 subs just a month ago to I, I think we're going to pass 2,500 before I put this video up, which is insane. Uh, we also managed to hit monetization, so I submitted my application and pretty soon our channel could be monetized, which is really crazy. But anyways, I've rambled enough. Q&A time. So all of these questions were submitted by you guys. I put out a few different ways for you guys to ask questions, so if you missed it, you can ask me questions next time on the next time I do a Q&A, which at the pace you guys are going, I'll be doing my uh, 100,000 subscriber Q&A within like two weeks or something. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, some of these questions came from Twitter. Some of these questions came directly to uh, me in my email and others were right under the posts that I put out. Surprisingly, none of you asked anything on Curious Cat. I really expected some sussy questions, but you guys behaved yourselves and not a single sussy question came through. So, on to the first question. <laughs> okay, so we're starting off with an easy one. What's your favorite color? Uh, purple. Purple is my favorite color. It is the best color. It's the color of uh, a lot of cool things, like uh, like uh, egg eggplants. There you go. I'll, I'll throw up some pictures of, of eggplants on the screen. <laughs> I, I think they're called uh, aubergines in other places, but uh, they're eggplants. So, yeah, that answers the question, right? <laughs> what was the question? F favorite color? Yeah, purple. Anyways, off to a great start. Next, next question. Why is your name Soma Inu? <laughs> so, uh, th this is going to make sense to no one but me, but there was a video game that came out in like 2015 called Soma, and it was really trippy and cool, and uh, it was about like a mind and a bunch of like crazy... Uh, thought experiments basically um about your consciousness and, and who you are and stuff like that and so my takeaway from that game was that soma had something to do with like uh, uh dreams and like your mind and consciousness and like kind of like that ethereal uh, feel but actually it means basically the exact opposite and so <laughs> Uh, I, I had taken that name thinking it meant that and it's just been my online name for like a good long while now uh, because I really liked the word but in the end <laughs> it's my name because 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 I'm dumb basically <laughs> the Inu part is just because uh, of the dog boy aesthetic that I have so you guys haven't really seen my model or anything yet but here you can see my uh, streaming starting screen. Uh, I, I should put it on screen right here. You should be able to see it. It's my starting soon screen for when I stream. Uh, you guys will be able to see chat and a bunch of other stuff on there soon. But that's what my model looks like. You can see the dog uh, ear headband and uh, the doggy the doggy sweater. But there's there's more to it, uh, and there's some Easter eggs in there as well that. You guys won't get yet, but you'll get in the future when I when I do uh, an explanation video on my model when I get my model rigged. So yeah, so my Inu. <laughs> what made you want to make YouTube videos? So honestly, you guys, 
you guys made me want to do YouTube videos. Uh, I always wanted to do YouTube videos, uh, especially because I want to get into voice acting. But uh, after the, uh, what, what can I call it without getting this video demonetized? Uh, the lockdowns and stuff that happened a couple of years ago where we were all stuck in the house and couldn't interact with anyone that really made me wish that i'd had a community back then to kind of hang out with and talk to because most of my friends were real life friends and so i just didn't have anyone to talk to or hang out with for like a good year which was terrible uh and so that kind of pushed me into wanting to make content on YouTube and try and build a community and I just finally decided to do it this year as my New Year's resolution. So that's why. You guys. But that's also why I really, really love seeing your guys' comments and why I interact with so many of them and why I like a lot of them and a ton of my time is spent reading your comments. So if you leave a comment anywhere on my channel in the community tab or on one of the videos, I will 100% see it, I guarantee you. Even if I don't respond to it, I've seen it, I'll probably like it, and I'll probably heart it, uh, and I, I hope that when I heart stuff, it doesn't lose its, like, meaning that, uh, you know, people just think it's, like, a cheap thing or that I'm just doing it just because, uh, because I really am you know, enjoying all of your comments and personally going in and liking them and, and hearting them and trying to show that, like, I see you guys too and I appreciate you for showing up and taking time out of your day to comment and talk to me and hang out. So, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's why I make YouTube videos. Do you have any pets? I do have a pet. So I have a beagle. She's a mutt, but we don't know what she's mixed with, so we just say she's Beagle, uh, because we know at least that part. Uh, I, I should put a, a picture up on screen uh, here, but she doesn't like to sit still, so I doubt that she's going to be not blurry in the picture, but you can blame her for that, okay? What's your favorite and least favorite thing about making ASMR videos? So, favorite thing is well, it's kind of the same answer as before, getting to talk to you guys, but if you want a more specific answer, like, to the process of making videos, uh, I would say my favorite would have to be the acting. I really, really enjoy acting, uh, and so that's why a lot of the scripts I pick are yandere, because they force me to be a bit unhinged and act more so than I would if it was just like a boyfriend script or something a bit more calm uh, because I tend to be a pretty chill person in real life and so getting out of my comfort zone and doing yandere stuff and you know trying my hardest to sound as crazy but also still endearing as possible is, is a real challenge for me and so that's 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 my favorite part. As far as the least favorite part, um, that would have to be finding the scripts, uh, because it can be really, really hard to find scripts that fit the exact criteria that I need. So like, for instance, if a script is too short, or uh, if a script is not something that I feel I could do justice to, it does it doesn't fit my voice or, you know, some other reason, then I can't pick it. And so that narrows down how many scripts I can do by a ton, <laughs> especially because a lot of ASMR scripts are uh, a little too spicy for YouTube. They're just a tiny bit too spicy. And so that means all of the spicier scripts, I just, I can't even touch with a 10 foot pole yet. But that's also why I really, really appreciate when you guys send me scripts. I put out the call a while ago, and a few of you have answered it. You've sent me scripts on Twitter, and you've sent me scripts uh, on my in my email, and uh, I really appreciate that. You have no clue how much I appreciate that. Um, and so I, I couldn't respond to some of you, but uh, just know I saw it, and I saved it, 
and especially if you wrote a script that is like even better because I really want to foster uh, writers in my community and uh, give people opportunity to get their stuff seen. So if you're a writer yourself, even more so, uh, try and write a script, send it my way, I will 1000% shout you out. Um, and I'm also looking for, in the future, once we're fully monetized, uh, to bring writers on uh, full time where you're writing scripts for me. Uh, on a weekly uh, basis so that I have a constant stream of scripts. So if you're interested in that and would want to be paid potentially for uh, <laughs> me reading your work, then definitely reach out at some point because I'm going to be looking for that within the next few months. What's your favorite trope? So favorite trope is I said the Yandere ones earlier were my favorite to act, but I do really like doing the boyfriend ones as well, uh, just because they're cozy and they're easier for me to do just because it, there is no expectation with boyfriend. It could be anyone, anyone with, I think, uh, a mask voice. It doesn't even have to be someone who, you know, identifies as a boy. <laughs> anyone with a mask voice could, could fill a boyfriend script and so there is no expectations and so i can just be myself and uh you know have fun recording and be relaxed and uh it, it's it's a lot more relaxing than having to put on my acting shoes and and try really really hard to act uh like with the yandere scripts so definitely the boyfriend ones but uh they tend not to do as well just because <laughs> spicy spicy horny tends to tends to sell a lot better to the clickbait uh than than the boyfriend stuff but i would appreciate if you guys click the boyfriend stuff too because i i like doing them someone said i'm sorry why are you so underrated uh <laughs> so you guys let me just say you never have to worry about this you guys have actually blown away every metric that I thought I was going to have to try and earn my way towards over the course of a year in like three weeks. Uh, I didn't expect to be monetized even at all this year. Um, for those of you who don't know, to get monetized on YouTube, you need you need 4,000 watch hours within a year and uh, like a thousand subs. And obviously you guys just blew that away entirely. We are like at over 10,000 watch hours and uh, like i said earlier 2500 subs so yeah you guys just like completely blew away my expectations so as far as numbers go i'm i am fine but even beyond that uh all, even if just a couple of you guys showed up i'm honored by that and that is totally appreciated so you don't have to worry about that like at all <laughs> Do you play any instruments? And if so, will you ever upload videos of that? Oh, okay. So I like this question because it lets me uh, shill future stuff. So I do play instruments. I play guitar, which, you know, acoustic and electric. And uh, I also play um, piano. And when I was little, I played violin, but I'd be lying if I said I still play that. <laughs> because... Uh, when I was little, my mom wanted me to be a dork, and so she put me in a uh, performing arts school, which, for those of you who don't know, it's kind of like if you've seen the show Victorious, it's it's like a school like that, where everyone has to sing and act and learn instruments and stuff like that. Um, and so I, I learned a bunch, and I would love to do covers or something like that at some point. Um, but I have to learn to edit audio a little bit better or uh, start making money on this channel so that I can hire someone to uh, audio edit for me so that the cover doesn't sound bad because I'd be very shy about doing that and then putting out a video that sounds bad. <laughs> Especially because I'd probably be singing and yeah, so I, I definitely would have to find someone to edit for me. 
what's your favorite video game and which one are you currently playing so my favorite video game is kingdom hearts 2 it is my favorite game of all time i played it you know i think when i was like 12 and it was very magical for me um it was also uh weirdly enough one of the things that made me realize i was and this might be weird i don't know if people will understand this but it was one of the things that made me realize i was bi <laughs> because i had such a huge crush on roxas at the time so yeah it, it was it's it's a weird answer i know but uh it, it it's true it was it was magical for me at the time that i played it and so it's just stuck with me ever since game I'm playing now is Sunhaven because it's really cozy and I really like playing it with the friends that I have uh, online. It's similar to Stardew Valley if any of you have played that. It's just a bit more uh, combat oriented and has uh, cute races and fantasy stuff like that which you know I always really loved fantasy and stuff like to the point that uh, my model almost was uh, fantasy inspired, so like D and D, like a D and D rogue or something. Uh, but I ended up going with superhero just because a lot of people go with the rogue aesthetic, and I wanted to be a bit more unique. So superhero is what I went with. Who knows? At some point in the future, I might rebrand and <laughs> do do some some fantasy stuff. Uh, make Soma into uh, a rogue or a wizard or something like that. I, I guess we'll see. Uh, he'd probably be a, a warlock if anything, but uh, we'll see in the future. Yeah, but anyways, uh, <laughs> I'm playing Sunhaven. Uh, I, I want to play games like that on the channel for you guys, so you'll have to tell me if you'd be interested uh, in me putting out some gameplay videos of me rambling while I like run around on my Animal Crossing island or something. Uh, I really like games like that, cozy, warm games where I can just chill and talk to you guys. Uh, so tell me if you're interested, and if you're interested, what kind of games would you want to play with me? You know? When will you do a stream of just you talking? So I plan on streaming within the next month or so, but I've been having low-key a couple computer issues and so and so it is tentatively in a month but could be a bit longer until I'm able to to uh, do so but I definitely want to and who knows I mean if it's just me talking like this question asks uh, I could definitely do that just me hanging out and, and talking to you guys and keeping you guys company, sure. But if my computer will let me stream anything, like gameplay-wise, I guess we'll have to see and find out together. But uh, just let me know. If there's enough interest for it, then I totally will. Uh, and uh, I'll end up streaming some games, whether my computer likes it or not. coffee or tea so <laughs> some real life soma lore i worked at starbucks for a about a year or two and uh and that basically makes me a professional on this question and the answer is tea tea is it's just superior in every way <laughs> there's gonna be coffee drinkers in my audience i'm sure but you know, I'll do my best to to not bully you guys too much. <laughs> if you ever do go to Starbucks and you want to make my personal drink, it's it's definitely called the Soma Special. Uh, any Starbucks will know it. <laughs> it's a it's a, a chai. It can be iced or hot, and you put oat milk and two pumps of vanilla in it vanilla or, or white mocha uh, and it'll taste like a cookie so definitely do that I know some places don't have oat milk but uh, you're really missing out if, if they don't 
What is your zodiac? Uh, I am a Pisces. I am a, a sweet Pisces child, a, a fishy boy. So, you know, I, I had uh, <laughs> I had an ex that would always call me their uh, their stinky fish. So, <laughs> sorry if uh, if you're a zodiac sign that doesn't match up well with Pisces. I, I still love you. And here we have my two very important questions that got asked, and they're important because they tie directly into my special announcement. So this is where the skippers are going to be coming back in. Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, the last two questions are, what are your future goals for the channel, and will you perhaps make a discord for the community? And the answer to the second is yes, and the answer to the first is uh, making a discord and getting you guys a place to hang out. So I have made a discord, it is in its very early stages, but if you're looking to join, the link should be down below in the description and in the pinned comment uh, in the comments. I am going to be working on it, you know, a ton more over the next few weeks, but you know, it's it's set up for now, and you're able to join and hang out and talk to each other and hang out with me and talk to me. Uh, and so I hope that at least a few of you guys join because I'm really excited for that. Um, the other major announcement is that I have made a Patreon. So I made a Patreon primarily because... Uh, like I said earlier, YouTube does not allow spicy content. Uh, if I were to even try and put up spicy content, I could have my entire channel shut down. And I'm honestly a little nervous because even with what I've put up so far, I may not get my channel monetized uh, depending on the whims of whoever reviews my channel for monetization. So... I want to be able to give you guys uh, a bit spicier content, and to do that, I just needed another place to do it. So I put in a lot of effort into thinking up what I could offer you guys and what you guys would be interested in. And so if you're possibly interested in hearing me do a bit, uh, let's just call it... <laughs> not safe for YouTube content, uh, head over to my Patreon and check out the tiers. Um, you also get special uh, roles in the Discord and a special channel that you guys can talk in and hang out, as well as voice channels. And uh, the highest tier also gets some special rewards, like uh, a monthly hangout with yours truly. If you want to come do a movie night with me and uh, hang out once a month, then definitely check that out as well. Uh, you also get personal uh, audios and you get to be in my videos, in the credits of my videos. So definitely check it out. I would appreciate it a ton because the more you guys support, the more I know that my content should keep going and that, you know, uh, there's someone out there who likes my stuff. So I really hope you guys show up both to the Discord and to my Patreon. Uh, and even if you don't go to the Patreon, you can still get into the Discord. Um, you still get the basic role and you still can come and hang out and talk and spend time with, you know, me when I pop up in the Discord. Uh, the only thing you'd miss out on uh, if you don't go to the Patreon is the special roles and the monthly movie date with me. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> Hopefully this video wasn't too rambly, but I'm probably going to label it something like uh, ASMR boy does, uh, does a Q&A and call it like sleep aid or something so that you guys can get some use out of this even after you've already watched it if you want to sleep to my voice or, or something like that. Uh, yeah, the last thing that I want to shill in my announcement section 
is that I do have other socials, so you can follow me on twitter.com at soma underscore inu. Uh, you can follow me there. I post sometimes. I post about my videos going live, and I, I'm going to start posting more uh, just, you know, daily things, stuff that I'm doing, uh, updates on videos, uh, video ideas. I want to put some polls there as well. Uh, so you're really missing out if you don't follow me on Twitter. Uh, there should also be a link to that in the pinned comment below. Uh, and finally, I have my link tree linked in my YouTube bio. Uh, and that should take you to all of my um, different places that you can find me. So it'll take you to my Ko-Fi. It should take you to my throne. But yeah, I think that's it. So if I didn't get to your question, just know that I might be saving it for the next Q&A and that uh, this video went on way longer than I expected it to. Answering questions turns out, <laughs> it turns out, takes a very long time. Uh, I only had about 10 questions or so and we're already at 30 minutes. So yeah, uh, I definitely want to get more questions uh, for next time. I'll probably do another Q&A once I hit, uh, I, I don't know, what's a, what's a good goal? 10,000, 20,000, maybe, maybe somewhere around there. Uh, I'll do another Q&A. So if you have questions that you can think of that you want to ask me, uh, go ahead and leave a comment under my first Q&A uh, post that I put in the community tab, and I will come back and check that at some point. Uh, so any questions whatsoever that you would want to make it into a video can go there. The other place you can ask me questions at any time and get a much faster answer is on my Curious Cat, which you can find again in my link tree, which is in the bio of my uh, YouTube channel. And on the Curious Cat, you can ask anonymously, you can ask me anything and I most likely will answer it. Uh, so don't be shy. It can be literally anything and you don't have to feel like uh, I would be offended if it was something, uh, as I said earlier, spicy <laughs> because I don't mind. I don't mind at all. Um, and you would get an answer to, to something there a lot faster than you would waiting for the next Q&A video. So yeah. Uh, aside from that, uh, basic YouTube stuff. Leave a comment, subscribe, tell me, you know, how your day went. Uh, I will 100% respond, uh, and go check out the discord. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, <laughs> oh, and, uh, say happy birthday to me in the comments. It'll, it'll make me really happy. Uh, <laughs> thank you guys. Love you.